सेवन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट सर अ मेमोरेंडम एक्सप्लेनिंग द वेरियस प्रोविजन ऑफ द फाइनेंस बिल एज ओरिजिनली प्रेजेंटेड हैज ऑलरेडी बीन सर्कुलेटेड टू द ऑनरेबल मेम्बर्स अलॉन्ग विद द बजट पेपर्स द फ्यू चेंजेस सिंस मेड इन द बिल बाय द लोक सभा एट द इंस्टांस ऑफ अ गवर्नमेंट आर ऑफ अ माइनर करेक्टर these changes which are the result of a careful examination of the various suggestions made by the honorable members of both the houses and representations received from outside are intended mainly to remove hardship in certain special types of cases the reasons for making them have already been explained in the lok sabha I do not therefore intend to weary the house with an elaborate explanation of the several clauses of the bill as passed by the Lok Sabha but shall confine myself to explaining the structure of the bill in general terms dealing first with direct taxes the provisions of the bill are in two parts one part deals with modifications and rates of taxes in this category are three provisions one relates to personal taxes in which small increases have been made for incomes over rupees 70000 another change is a modification in the scheme of corporation taxes as explained in the budget speech this scheme is an integrated whole and the provision for a tax on the occasion of issue of bonus shares follows from the fact that the dividends are based not on capital employed but on the paid up capital if therefore the base is widened by the issue of bonus shares and consequently the super tax payable is reduced on that account it is only reasonable that a small tax should be charged on the occasion of the issue of the bonus shares themselves the tax is not on the shareholders but on the company the third provision relates to taxes on registered firms the justification for this tax is to levy a small charge for the benefits that accrue to partners on account of their corporate functioning in order that small people may not be adversely affected we have already changed the original provisions of the bill to the extent of having a free slab of the first rupees 40000 of the income which will be free from that tax now equally important from the point of view of the revenue resources of the government are the other provisions of the bill the most important of these provisions is the amendment of section 34 of the income tax act by which powers are being taken in certain circumstances and with certain safeguards to reopen past cases of tax evasion since the end of the second world war in the budget speech the finance minister has traced the developments leading to this provision and i have already explained about the judgment of the supreme court which has necessitated certain changes in the income tax act and therefore all i need say at this stage is that while every possible care would be taken to ensure that there is no undue harassment to the honest taxpayer we are determined to collect the legitimate dues of the government as i have often said before it is our intention not to collect a rupee more and equally not to collect a rupee less in this category of provisions should also be included the powers 
proposed for search and seizure of documents and for obtaining information from banks the tax on registered firms will also assist in checking a form of legal tax avoidance by which hindu undivided families create partitions whole or partial on paper and then function as registered firms in our budget estimates credit has been taken of the recoveries due on account of these cases on tax aviation in excises only three major proposals have been made these are an additional duty of 6 paise per square meter on all categories of cotton fabrics except coats dhotis and sarees a new duty of 60 paisa per kg on vegetable non essential oils a duty of 25 paisa per liter on diesel and vaporizing oil and of 15 paisa per liter on industrial fuel oils the duties on diesel and fuel oils are really not on fresh imports they are mainly a substitution of import duties of about an equal order the revenue from which is being lost by total replacement of imports by indigenous production at the new refineries in bombay the house would be aware that since these proposals were first announced on the 20th february 1996 we have reduced the duty on cotton seed oil to one half namely from 6 paisa to 3 paisa per lab by way of a substantial incentive to the better and greater utilization of cotton seed a considerable proportion of the oil content of which is now being wasted in the country in regard to the duty on diesel oil some anxiety has been expressed about its effect on the agriculturist we are not satisfied that there is any need for relief